And we now have an official date for the Vossel Hard Fork Combinator event, September 22nd. Uh, this was one of the long ones, uh, probably the hardest update we've ever had to do um, as an ecosystem. Uh, and it uh, it's one that if we've all done our job right, we're going to wake up on September 22nd and it will be just another day. That's the magic and power of the Cardano ecosystem is we do our homework early and we do the work up front so that we don't end up enduring the consequences of not doing it on the back end. And I'd finally like to thank the community for your patience, persistence, and uh, dogged loyalty. You fight hard, you push hard, and it's good to get it all done. Cardano price has skyrocketed by over 6% after founder Charles Hoskinson and IOHK confirms September 22 as the official date for the Vassal Hard Fork. Interestingly, the Cardano price is witnessing rising interest from whales and investors as the price jumped 4% in just an hour yesterday today. Developers have promised greater scalability and lower fees from the hard fork, which will incorporate the first major upgrade to the Plutus script, the programming language used for smart contracts on the Cardano blockchain. Plutus was introduced in the previous upgrade named Alonzo, which took place in September of last year. Moreover, all three required parameters for the Vassal hard fork, including 75% block production by SPOs running 1.353 node, top exchanges upgrading to 1.353 node, and top decentralized apps testing against the node. Cardano is witnessing rising whale activity after Robinhood listed the token on September 1 and Vasil hard fork date confirmation. Cardano is the top token bought by the 500 biggest BSC whales in the last two days. Moreover, Cardano is the most used smart contract among the top 2,000 BSC whales in the last 24 hours. The sentiment of the Cardano community is also positive in anticipation of the Vassal hard fork. Popular Cardano whale Cardano whale in a tweet shared the bullish sentiment on Cardano. Cardano is the first protocol since Ether that's rolling out a DeFi ecosystem largely without a VC leg up. It has security, decentralization, community, and soon throughput to succeed and equivalence to Compound, AAVE, and Curve Slash Maker lined up plus much more. The next resistance is at 55 cent. A rally above the resistant level may push prices to $1 soon. Charles Hoskinson has a new update on his YouTube channel and has shared the importance of the new upgrade and why it is set to cause a huge adoption for Cardano. Before we listen to him, please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for regular update on the crypto market. Thanks for watching our videos. Uh, Vossel uh, is going to really help a lot of dApp developers out. As I said, uh, back when we launched Alonzo, there's really two ways you can look at smart contracts and programmability in the ecosystem. One way is to start with maximum expressiveness uh, and there dial it back as you discover there's problems. And this is kind of what Ethereum has done. And they released something, they said, oh, well, Maybe we need to put some more controls and checks and balances. And the problem with that is twofold. One, as you dial back expressiveness, you break old contracts. Uh, and two, anything that is hacked results loss of money. I've seen reports as high as $25 billion worth of stuff has been stolen or lost as a result of hacks and bad smart contracts in that ecosystem. When you look at the other direction, you start with minimal expressiveness, and then you gradually add new capabilities over time that broaden the universe of things that can be implemented on the system. And ideally, every time you do that, you'd like to improve safety, reliability, and specification. So that's what we did with the extended UTXO model. Uh, we started and knew that over time, we could get to what Ethereum has done, uh, but we understood a, a roadmap to get there. So Vossel is um, a major turning point, I'd say. Uh, deep parameters totally removed more than half of the updates went through the SIP process. Uh, and uh, it really has been a collaborative product of the community uh, working with us and uh, the external members. And really, it all came together. Now, moving forward, there's going to be a big retrospective on how do we do things better. There's also going to be a deep conversation about the overall architecture of Cardano as it is. And how do we take it to the next level to make it more useful and uh, portable, scalable, and better for everybody? Um, a lot of SIPs are coming. Uh, some SIPs related to uh, Voltaire and governance. Um, some SIPs related to Basho and scalability. Uh, and there's a lot of cleanup that needs to be done as we hand it over uh, from one steward role to a members-based organization and then uh, participate with you guys in that 
capacity. So that's what 2023 is really about. So a lot of people are stepping up, taking more advanced roles, more in-depth roles, and we're seeing tons of new people entering the ecosystem and discovering the magic of what we've put together for the very first time, which is truly exciting. I wish I could feel that way too. <laughs> it's been eight years for me. But actually, um, every time I see you guys play with new things and get inspired, it re-inspires me. Just recently, we open sourced the Mithril repo, and I saw SPOs playing with it, talking about quality of the documentation. They felt it was great and how they were up and running in 40 minutes. Uh, that was really fun and exciting. And the fact that we can bring full node security to light clients is just showing how much raw innovation is occurring. Uh, literally everywhere you look in this project, uh, from how we vote uh, to how wallets work to how we handle consensus to how smart contracts are developed, Cardano stands alone in that it has innovated. And that's an objective reality. It can be ignored. It can be diminished. Uh, plenty of people who don't understand how this technology works or why it works the way it does could not value that. But the reality is that our bright light is shining through. And as we, uh, as we look to the future, it's becoming more clear uh, that the distance between us and everyone else is, is growing. Uh, we built Cardano to be the financial operating system of the world. We built it to bank the unbanked. We built it as a community uh, to give economic identity to those who don't have it so that we can have one global fair marketplace. It's a crazy mission, and it feels vast in scope. But with Vossel Cummings in September 22nd, it feels that much more achievable because we're not here alone. We're here together. A uh, lot more to do, but this is a good month. It's about time that we get some good news this year. It's been a tough year for everybody in our ecosystem and industry. Uh, we're kind of in the hangover of the excesses of last year. And uh, everybody has to grow up a little bit and come down to earth and realize that hard things are still hard. Uh, value still has to be earned. It's never given uh, freely. And ultimately, you have to know who's in charge, which is you, the community. And you have to respect that always. Some people tend to forget that in our community and in our ecosystem. Uh, and every time they do, no matter who they are, uh, they're reminded of the facts of life. So thank you all for being here. Thank you all for being part of this. And I look forward to a successful Hard Fork Combinator event on the 22nd. There will continue to be integration and testing. There's more than 20 days left to get all that stuff swept up. But it's long overdue. We're about ready. And it means we can enter October real strong. And I'm looking forward to the Cardano Summit in November and the Rare Bloom event in October. Vazel Hard Fork should be a turning point in Cardano's history. The event should bring significant improvements to the network, in particular higher bandwidth, improved performance of the Plutus smart contract platform, and the transfer of new types of tokens from the Ether network to the Cardano network. However, the way to the long-awaited update was not without adventure. So according to the original plans, the test network should have been launched by the end of May, and the Vazel update itself should have taken place on June 29. Vasil will bring several noticeable improvements to Cardano, especially a new set of scaling solutions to increase throughput and reduce transaction fees. Diffusion Pipeline is one of the most anticipated updates, since it will have an immediate impact on Cardano's scalability. Until now, block propagation has happened in six ordered steps on Cardano. This is a secure but rather inefficient way of propagating transactions through the network. Cardano is aiming to be one of the world's most popular and reliable smart contract platforms, the Vassal upgrade should help the platform become even more user-friendly as fees go down and decentralized apps gain a new level of functionality. What do you think the Vassal Hark Fork upgrade will bring to Cardano in terms of adoption and price increase? Let's us hear your opinion in the comment section. Thanks for watching.